Okay, guys, let's see here. This girl right here. And she is looking mighty fine. All wrapped real nice and tight. <clears throat> Hopefully she gives us eggs this year. Okay. And, of course, there's this girl right here. Which... I believe the ovulation's over now because the swelling's down, but she's still pretty big. And uh, hopefully, you know, she gives us some eggs this year. This would be LSR fire eggs. The ones below would be um, a better het albino to the het albino. So hopefully, we get uh, some albinos. You know. Fingers crossed that they both prove out to be head albinos. We'll soon find out. Everything up here is looking good. As you see, snakes are all moving around. Everybody got fresh water here. I dumped. I went through today and, you know, I maintain water uh, all week. And then every so many days, I take the bowls out. I wash them really good, refill them, and put them all back in. That's what I just did, you know. So, you guys over there are all doing good. Just see them moving around over there. Um, yeah, incubator's all set and ready to go. And everybody's doing good. Uh, I gotta get Becky's working on the paper on which male she wants me to put with numbers with females. I'll go get that paper. Well, that'll be starting this week. Um, the three uh, lavenders bolds have been sold. One, two, three. Somebody grabbed them up. I knew it would not take them long to do it. And well, they contacted me right away. And I contacted a few people, but you know, it comes down to first come, first serve. And that gentleman was first, and that gentleman got him. Great deal. Can't ship them yet because of winter. He understood all that, so yeah. They'll be going out in the spring here. I am sure of it. And what else do we got going on? Oh. Let's go over here and check out our Mojave girl. That's just really. Man, she would love to bite me. I know it. Hopefully, she gives us some blue eyed leucistics, huh? Would be pretty cool stuff. She's simply beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Her eyes are as blue as could be blue. Hold on. And that's because she's in shed. See those eyes? Anyway, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Put the water bowl back in there. Close that up there. Oh. On paper. And I guarantee I get full sheds. Anyway, we're going to go over and check out some tarantulas here in a minute. Um, other than that, everything is looking really good. i got to figure out a different bowl system, though. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get the PVC pieces for the snakes. The PVC pieces, the couplings with the bowl, just with the deli cups dropped in. Uh, that would be so much easier, so much faster. These bowls here, these guys take these bowls and because they got a rim around them, they'll get on the rim and they'll knock it over right away. And I'll be putting water in there, cleaning cages constantly. That's what I do. So, but not that I'm complaining about it because I love doing it. I love messing with the animals. It just makes me happy. I couldn't find anything better to do with my spare time. But uh, I will tell you this that. Uh, um, I definitely need to do that with those. 
Okay, we got her. She's breeding. She's locked up. This one refuses. This one refuses. This one here. Gotta wait just a little bit longer. The albino girl down here. She's eating, so she's growing. And when she's up to size, um, I got just the thing to pair up with her. Other than that, everything is looking really good. Uh, the geckos are going to be going soon with pairs up. And I think we're going to have a good season this year with the geckos. And I, hopefully it's a bigger, better season than last year. And the snakes, I hope, uh, to have an amazing year with those too. And if I do, I pass it on to people. I help people. You know, you see something you want, I work out, I work with people. You can ask anybody. So, anyway, and then we're also thinking, you know, we'll have auctions. We'll, we'll save up so many animals and we'll auction them off. The animals will have a reserve on them, of course, because we can't uh, be letting stuff go below certain points. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's our goals and that's our plans and that's what we're going to do. So, all right, guys. We'll be back. Peace. <clears throat> All right, people. We are now over here with the tarantulas. I'm going to try to pick this one up really softly so you can see it. Because I know you guys haven't seen it any for a while. But that's the Brachiopelma alba pelosum, the Nicaraguan curly hair. Mm-hmm. This guy here was out earlier and about, I got a good picture of him, a still picture. I'll put it in at the end, maybe. If not, it's on, um, I'll, I'm sure I'll put it up somewhere. Here's another Bumble Cabacla. Ooh, here's one out. I'm not even going to move it. I'm just going to move it down here so you guys can see it. It's right there. There's another one, a Brazilian redhead. There it goes. Deep into hiding. Pretty nice. So I, I, I like them guys. Um, when they become adults, they are definitely amazing animals. Uh, with their um, whole red head and all. You gotta look them up if you've never seen one. I like them. Anyway. This one was just walking around. The Brachiopelma alba pelosum. And it went over here. So I don't know what went down in this hole or something. What it was on the top walking around. And this one was also. It might be in the back back there. Still there it is, right back there. See it? There it is. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This one was just out and about too, but runs right down in his hole that's on the very bottom. He's dug a massive hole in the bottom, wow. Completely crazy. And this one here, he's in here, but I don't see him at the moment. So, yep. That's all the Brachiopelmas, which I seem to really enjoy those. This one here. The Avicularia Avicularia. This one here. I don't know where this one's at. It was just in here a little bit ago. It's probably down in this hole down in there or something. But I don't know. This one's really webbing up over here too. So it's doing a good job. Same with this one. Oh, there. That one's out. Let's see if the other one is out. And it is right there on the glass. These, all three of these last three species were Hapalopus species. Hapalopus columbia large. 
now we're going to go on to the fun guy. He's been doing some real major changes on in this place over here. Um, he is super webbing it up, and I love that with him. He's got a tunnel right there that goes right down into his little barrel. And then you come around here to this side over here. And he's got another one right there. Where is it? Right there. Which you can see him in there. Or her. Right there. Pretty nice, huh? The OBT. They're real Webbers. And I like what he's doing. He finally got the hint to stay off the top. You know, that it ain't going to work to be on the top up there. But, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, he's going to make that enclosure beautiful. Quite interesting to see how I have to rehouse that. Because sooner or later, you know, it's going to outgrow that. And they're called OBTs for a reason. Orange bitey things. <laughs> Just kidding, huh? Uh, yeah, they, they do have a tendency to stand their ground and protect their home with everything they have. So it will be quite interesting. I may have to, um, because this container is uh, kind of a funky size, small like that. Uh, it's going to be tough to get them out and over there, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I'm sure we can do it. Because other videos I've been watching, when they get full grown, they're not real runners. I mean, don't get me wrong, they will run. But they'd rather stand their ground and fight and defend their home than be rehoused. And, you know, he's going to need to be rehoused sooner than you think because he's already getting big. Um, we'll tell everybody, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell everybody about the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and, uh, Thank you for everything. I think it's great that you guys uh, all enjoy my channel. Um, and I thank every one of you for being a subscriber to my channel. Oh my so, thank you and peace out.